NASA launching dozens of balloons into space during the total solar eclipse with environmentally resilient bacteria. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, just because they think it's a good idea. Now, you can read all about it at nasa.gov. Let me just give you a quick taste of the madness here. NASA's Eclipse Balloon Project, led by Angela Dace Jardinus of Montana State University, is sending more than 50 high-altitude balloons launched by student teams across the U.S. to live-stream aerial footage of the August 21st total solar eclipse. From the edge of space, read all about it, nasa.gov. Now, the August solar eclipse gives us a rare opportunity to study the stratosphere when it's even more Mars-like than usual. Just come out to Moab, Utah, you guys, said Jim Green, director of planetary science at NASA headquarters, with student teams flying balloon payloads from dozens of points along the path of totality, we are going to study effects on microorganisms that are coming along for the ride. Once again, what a brilliant idea. Now, they use small metal cards that are transporting this bacteria. It's also known as a coupon because you'll get a 50% discount at Wally World afterwards. Okay, I'm just kidding. You won't get a 50% discount. But... Maybe they'll put it in the new burgers. They'll be like, hey, we got this new bacteria that we can grow in a Petri dish. It's got all the health benefits of protein that you would get from a dead cow or a dead animal. But this time it's just dead, genetically modified space goop mixed with environmentally resilient bacteria. And then it'll eat your gut, and then it'll turn you into a zombie, and then they win. But here you go. Take a look at this wonderful coupon with totally harmless, environmentally friendly bacteria. Let me ask you this. The bacteria that they decided to pick, what is it? And did they tweak it a little bit? Are they adding some nanotech there as well? What else are they doing up there? No, this coupon that NASA provides, each team with two small metal cards, they're about the size of a dog tag, the cards have harmless yet environmentally resilient bacteria, but they're harmless, guys. Don't worry about it. They're dried onto the surface. One card flies up with the balloon while the other remains on the ground. Then they compare the two from the consequences of the exposure to what they call Mars-like conditions and how the bacteria survival of any genetic changes. During these eclipses, or during this eclipse, the similarities to Mars only increases. The moon will buffer the full blast of radiation and heat from the sun blocking certain ultraviolet rays that are less abundant on the Martian atmosphere. And that brings temperatures down even further. So there, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you feel safe now knowing that they are blasting weather balloons, high atmosphere weather balloons with environmentally resilient bacteria? It reminds me of the movie that just came out a few months ago, several months ago, called Life where they discover a single cell on Mars, they bring it back, and then it kills everybody on the ship. And then it ends where they, they try and blast the rocket away from Earth, but the thing figures out how to get to Earth. And then, at the ending scene, it's in the ocean. We'll just leave it at that. This one cell manages to take over an entire fleet of highly trained astronauts in a matter of days. One cell. Now they're wanting to play God and tweak these resilient genetically modified bacteria strains with the atmosphere. Brilliant. I love the idea. Don't you guys? Aren't you glad they love us so much? Aren't you glad we pay for this so they can keep us safe? Meanwhile, we've got plenty of race-baiting TV shows to watch and plenty of scripted propaganda divide-and-conquer programs that are attacking our commander-in-chief right now. But it's okay for them to do it because they're funded by people like George Soros and others that love George Soros because they love us. Welcome to the new New World Order, ladies and gentlemen. Question everything if you want to know more or stay in a dilapidated, docile, mannequin-like state. And if things get really scary, then you can just stick your head in the sand and 
started going na 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 I'm really excited for this solar eclipse. And I got to tell you, this documentary crew out here is awesome. These guys are great. They know what they're talking about. They're real people. And they're fun to hang out with. So check out the trailer for the 90-minute documentary that's coming out that's called The Sign. I'll leave it in the video description box. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Remember, we are the change. The mind is mightier than the pen. The pen is mightier than the sword. Use your mind. Use your mind, Quaid. Use your mind. Be the change you want to see, folks. Nanny, 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 nanny.